Hello everybody, Michael Tyler here from Carve Buddy, and uh, continuing the jade marbleizing technique on the box I designed for the Vectric company. And uh, the technique is the same as what you've seen with the alabaster box and also with the handles, I mean the uh, feet and handle for the box, jade box itself. So we're going with an emerald type uh, green jade color and it's, uh, of course, an all-wood construction box, but it's going to be uh, with the finish of uh, marbleized green jade. So, uh, to continue with this technique, I'll just uh, reiterate that these boxes, the box and the lid, were primed with a white primer and then uh, painted with a couple coats of uh, white semi-gloss, and that was allowed to cure. Then I've got... Uh, the hunter green that I just sort of spritzed on the box and the lid and all the other components so that it had a little bit of the white still showing through and uh, my theory was that it adds to the effect of the jade and I've already done the feet and the handle and I think my theory was correct something else I, I wanted to try but I just uh, for lack of time did not do it but this project was to uh, spray just one color of the marbleizing greens that I've picked out here. I've got hunter green, a uh, emerald green, and a very light seaside green. But my idea was was to do a little bit of uh, film on the top surface of the water. We've got our five gallon bucket that's uh, two-thirds to three-quarter inch, uh, or three two-thirds to three-quarter inch filled with water. I was going to do one at a time, let it dry overnight, apply uh, several coats of clear, then do the process again for each of the different colors. That way I give that sort of a translucent effect that uh, natural jade in nature often has. But uh, that would extend the process over a three or four day period. So uh, with my deadline for the box project, I decided, no, I'll just do that some other time. And the effect is great anyhow. But um, this double painting of the white with sort of the spritzed on uh, hunter green, I think adds some of that depth that I might be uh, lacking in doing it one color at a time with the clear coats in between. So to continue with the process, we just uh, make sure our cans are all shaken up, mixed real well, and uh, then we'll spray a little bit of color onto the surface of the water and dip our box components. Again, the process is familiar to you if you've watched the alabaster box video or the video on the handles for the jade box and the feet. Spray that on the top of the water. Give it a swirl. Don't think you have enough color, just add a little bit more. And you do have to work a little fast with this because you don't want the film to dry before you've had a chance to dip your component into the surface of the water. I'm moving the lid towards the marbleized paint surface. And yeah, you can see that gives a very nice marbleized effect. I'm going to go ahead and dip it a second time because I want a little bit more marbleization on this. I'm working quick enough to where I think I can get away with this without removing the prior film. Just dip that in. Yeah, that's nice. Very nice. And I'm going to do it just one more time. And I'm really pushing the envelope on time here. A little more of that emerald green going. I just wanted a touch more mobilization there. And maybe here. Okay. 
that looks great. I'm very happy with that. I'm going to give it a little bit more randomness there. Okay, that's great. All right, that's done. Okay. Now enough time has passed where I do want to remove this old film before I dip the box itself. And just wiping that off with a bunch of paper towels here. If you let it dry long enough, in fact, when I'm done, it will have dried long enough, the paint film, and I can just swirl a, a stir stick around and that will clump around the stir stick and I can just dispose of that film all at once in a sort of a big ball. Okay. All right, we'll go through this process again. That light color makes a nice contrast with the emerald green and the hunter green I'm spraying on there. Okay. Of course, you know to pick a container that's large enough to fit your item that you're dipping in. more of this light color green and a little bit more of the, the uh, emerald. It's really an interesting and fun process because it, it's just like nature. It's random. It's not going to be a uniform surface that you can predict. The marbleization in nature occurs randomly and so same with the dipping process. Add a little bit more light color. And bring that through. I don't know if you can see in the video the uh, bringing that paint through or not. Twirling it around on that surface of the water. Okay, that's a really pronounced marbleization. And I'm going to add a little bit of the hunter green just to darken up that a little bit. Okay, that muted that down just like I wanted. Okay. Alright, pretty happy with that. So with that, I think we'll call her done. Thanks for watching.